Hmm, what you want next year and what's going on this year. You don't actually have to wait till January or December even to start coming up with some intentions for your new year or some new year's resolutions. My personal way of doing this is I actually start thinking about what I want the next year in August. That's usually about the time I start thinking what you want next year and what's going on this year. Before we talk about this year and where you're at and, and what's happening, let's address next year. So usually in August, I start thinking about what I want for the year ahead. There's a couple of really good reasons why you want to do this. First of all, if you manifest or set intentions, it's always a really good idea to follow the process of the seasons. Yes, the four seasons that we go through in our weather. Because the more you can be in sync with this earth, because we are earth beings, the more you can be in sync with the earth and the cycles of the earth, when you work with the cycles, it just gives you an extra advantage. It gives you extra energy to infuse into what you want. And it really helps get those things into your physical reality. One of the great reasons why you would want to start thinking about the next year in August is because in the summer, if you are consciously using the earth cycles, specifically the seasons, summer is the time where things manifest. That's typically the time that they do. That doesn't mean that you can't manifest any other time of year. Absolutely you can. I'm talking if you leverage the seasons, that's typically a time that you might see your things come in. That said, if you start thinking about next year now, you still have that yummy energy. I love the energy of summer. I love the energy of creating, especially for some, I love all the months of the summer, but August has an amazing energy for uh, so many things. It has an amazing, amazing energy for creating and for manifesting and for getting what you want. And it just feels like really good. The energy feels so good. So anyway, you can do it now and use this beautiful, yummy energy of August to actually infuse into your intention and, and put a little bit of extra sprinkle of magical boost into it and help push it in into becoming. And so when you do that, you're getting like this huge momentum before you even get to the next year. So can you see why I would do that and why I'm inviting you to do the same thing? So put your thought now as to what you're really wanting to do next year. And even what can you start doing now to make it happen? Don't just think about it and write it down, but also like what steps need to be taken that you know of and start taking those steps. As you know, or I hope you know, you have to start making actual physical movement to start seeing anything come into your reality. You can't just say, I want this and then think it's gonna come. Now it could, but usually you have to start taking steps because it's in the steps that more guidance will come in and then you will see other doorways open and other opportunities come in. And so you've gotta be on the move for that to happen. It's kind of like you don't know if you can run three miles until you actually get out there and see if you can run three miles, right? You gotta make the physical movement. So you can start the process now. And in some beautiful cases, I have seen this, you might even manifest it by like February. February can be a magical month for, for manifesting uh, for some reason. Like if you just start ahead, February is a really good time. 
but even more, you'll already be really strongly in the process when it comes to January and February if you started now. And then as you're, you've already planted the seeds, they've been sitting there brewing, right? They've been sitting there incubating. And so when spring comes, those seeds are so ready and ripe to just pink start sprouting out. And you could even have a big manifestation in spring. Spring's a great time to manifest. But the problem is usually if people wait till like the end of December to decide what they want, it's, and it's not a problem, it's just how energy works. You're only starting in December, so spring, it might start cultivating some really great energy, but it's usually summer that things really kick in. But imagine if you started in August with this yummy boost and you were like incubating that seed and then bam, into January and February you go and then bing, in spring, it's just like it wants to come out. It wants to show its new leaves. It wants to be seen. So imagine, just think of that energy. So I'm highly inviting you to do that. Now I wanna to go to the other subject, which is this year. Where are you this year with the things that you wanted? Have you gotten those things that you wanted? Those things that you set intentions for at the beginning of the year that you really wanted, did you get them? If you didn't get them, either you lost motivation or something happened in life or you made excuses, but whatever the reason is, there was a reason. It didn't come easy, right? So there, that means that regardless of the reason, number one, you wanted it bad enough to state you wanted it. Number two, it didn't come in and for whatever reason, you are still focusing on it and it didn't it still hasn't come in or you lost steam or lost the wind in your sails and it didn't come in for whatever million reasons that could happen because number three there's a block somewhere there is a block somewhere and you know what i have no doubt that you are a go-getter and that you are motivated to get what you want sometimes we self-sabotage ourselves thinking that we're not as good as other people we i just don't have it in me i try it doesn't work i'm sure that deep down inside you really do want it you really did try you really really wish that you could have whatever it is but if you got unmotivated or you didn't get it for some whatever reason it's because it didn't come easily it means something is in the way that there's a block somewhere and listen to this at some point it's really really important for you to get help and move that stuff that's hindering you that's in your way because if you don't get the help, it's going to get in the way of the other stuff that you want. So listen, if you're a go-getter and you're one of these people that manifest or sets intentions for things you want in your life and they don't come, then that means that this is only one of the many things in your life that you're going to have a hard time getting. The reason is because whatever is blocking you from this one thing, it's going to block you from all the things. And you might get things here and there. I'm not saying, oh, you're screwed. You're just not gonna get anything anymore. But if there is something in your life that you're really having a hard time getting, there is a block. And if you don't identify that block, that block is actually hindering many areas of your life. It's not only hindering your ability to get what you want, it's actually hindering your relationships, your, your money situation, your mindset, your emotions, your, your life, because everything's connected. And if there is one thing that's blocking you somewhere in your life, it's also serving as a block in other areas of your life. Now, maybe not as strongly, maybe not as obviously, but the truth is it is blocking you. So it's not only important to get help to get whatever this thing is that you want, 
but it's in your best interest for your life, for the quality of your life, for every aspect of your life. And you might say, what's she talking about? My life's fine. I'm fine with my life. I'm not saying that your life is screwed up. I'm just saying that there could be so much more. And if you say, well, I'm happy right where I am, awesome. But I will also kind of chuckle inside because this is my thing. This is my jam, people. You all know I help you move your mountains and get what you want. I am a master at reading energy and I can go into your energy and pluck out these things that you may, or even worse, may not know is even there. You may not even realize what is the thing or things that are hindering your life, how your life is being hindered, why it's being hindered, how to stop it being hindered, and how to resolve it once and for all. We are here having a human experience, right? So we are all here to learn and grow. And if there's anybody that is on this earth saying, I don't have anything else to learn, nothing else to grow, nothing else I need to know about myself, I'm just perfect. I've actually heard someone recently say that in my art class, and I just wanted to laugh because, you know, with age, you do get wiser, and this woman was older, and I'm not saying she wasn't wise, but that's not really a wise way of thinking. As long as we're here, we're all, there's something we need to be learning. If there's nothing else for us to be learning, there's no more point on us being here. So if somebody is still here, there's definitely something else they need to learn. And what happens is when people take on that attitude, something will eventually happen to them to force them to look at what they need to learn. That's just the way it goes. If we don't look at our stuff, like that stuff that keeps coming up, if we keep ignoring it, something will happen in your life to make you wake up and look at it. It could be a car accident. It could be a disease. It could be losing someone or something. Something traumatic will happen to get your attention to fix it because the universe gives us so many opportunities to look at our stuff and deal with it. But if we don't, it, w it can only keep giving us so many opportunities before something will happen to force you to look at it. And why is it? It's not because the universe wants to torture you and say, hey, you're not looking at your stuff, so now I'm just going to make you have this terrible thing. No, it's not that. You know what it is? We are always wanting something else or something better or something different in our lives, whether we're really conscious of it or not. Now, some of us are conscious creators where we are consciously creating situations, certain emotions that we want to feel and wanting new experiences in our life, whatever they are. Some of us are consciously manifesting and some of us are not consciously manifesting, but there's always something in your head like, oh, I wish I felt better or I wish I could go travel to that place or I wish I had more friends or I wish I could live in that place. I wish I had a family, whatever it is, like just thinking any thought like that, you're like sending vibes out like that's what you want. So even if you weren't consciously saying, I'm manifesting this to happen in my life, you're sending out these signals. So what happens is the universe picks up on those signals and says, oh, they want this family or they want this trip or they want this house or they want this job or this certain emotion they want to feel. They want to feel a certain way. And it will give you opportunity to heal or solve or fix something in your life that's blocking you from having it. But if you don't take up those cues, you don't take those opportunities to work on those things, you just ignore it and just don't do it, then because you sent out the signal, the universe has no choice but to help you shift yourself so you can get it. So check this example out. Say somebody wanted to feel more love, like they didn't feel loved in their life. 
they didn't feel loved and they felt resentful about it and you know whatever they just were not happy in their life because they didn't feel loved maybe it was not like this big thing like i want love i want but it's just like you know what i feel so unloved like nobody's around nobody cares about me whatever like it could just be just thinking like that and it would be nice if i could be loved once in a while i would like to be loved but oh well so it could be just little thinking like that so maybe you're so caught up in your mind and remember the way you think and your emotions can create sickness. So it's not that the universe would give you cancer or some horrible disease. The universe isn't like putting things on you, but the way you think and the way that you feel absolutely are the things that get you sick. Every physical sickness or mental sickness starts with an energy. If you have emotional stuff going on or you think in a really limited or damaging way too much, eventually, if you don't address that, it will manifest as a physical illness. And once it becomes a physical illness, it becomes even harder to heal because you know when you're sick, it's harder to do anything when you're sick. So imagine having a disease and now you have to heal those emotions but you don't even have the energy because you're just trying to survive. So that's why it's really important to work on your stuff. Figure out what's in your way of being happy. Figure out what's in your way of getting what you want. And I'm not just talking about what's in the way of getting my Ferrari. I'm talking about basically if you want something in your life, you think it's going to bring you happiness or peace or contentness or health or love. Like, you want that feeling that whatever that thing is, is going to bring you. If you feel lacking in that feeling of feeling joyful or happy or content or peaceful or faithful or whatever those things are, if there's a lacking in that and it goes unaddressed, there will be some kind of effect on you. So you do address it and hopefully you do get through it. That's why a lot of times when people go to prison, they end up turning to God. They may have never thought of God their whole life, but being in prison, they end up turning to God and then they, are, they completely change. And I know somebody like that and he's like, I would not have traded that experience for the world because I am now like so in love with God, like I'm so into my faith now. And if that didn't happen to me, I would not be here. So that's like a perfect example too. So it can happen in all different ways, but it's always for you because it's something that you want, but you're not making the changes for it to happen. So my point is that whatever you're not getting right now, it's not just about, oh, you're not getting that thing you wanted. You should work on that block. No, it's about there is a block somewhere in your life and it is not only affecting your ability to get this thing that you wanted to get this year, that must have obviously been important to you enough to think about it and intend for it, that is also affecting other areas of your life. And until you move this block or figure out what this is, it will get in the way of you getting other things. So it could be pretty frustrating if you don't attend to it. So as I said, I am a master energy reader and I help my clients through this kind of stuff all the time. It's what I do. I've been doing it for 20 years. This is nothing new. So if you are truly ready to figure out how your life is being hindered, I don't care if your life feels like crap or it feels like divine heaven. There's always something that is running underneath that we could shift and get to an even better place. So wherever you are in your life, if you want to transform yourself to your higher potential, wouldn't you want to? And especially if there's something that you really want in your life and you can't seem to get it, wouldn't it be worth getting the help so you move beyond it. I mean, of course you can do it by yourself and hopefully you figure it out. 
But like I said, I read energy and I can see the things that you might know about and I can see the things that you have no clue about. So it's those things that really can get to you because if you don't know that something's hanging out in your energy, how would you ever know what to shift, how to resolve it? You wouldn't. So I'm here today to tell you if you want to move through your stuff, if you want to move these things that could be hindering you, I'm the person that can help you do that. This is my expertise. And I am here to help the people that are really, really interested. People that really come here and want to make the best of themselves, really understand their life, understand how things could be shifted or get better. Or even if you're just frustrated, like things just aren't coming to you and you've tried and tried and tried. There's an easier way. You don't have to sit there year after year after year trying to figure it out and not getting very far. Fast track your life. I'm here. I can help you. I can see you. This is my job. I do it every day. So I was just talking about this on my social media today and I just felt guided that I needed to come here and put this out there for you because many of you watch me year after year after year and it feels like a lot of times you just listen to my content and learn and that's great, but it's like you don't reach out and say, you know what, I want your help. I want to get better at this or I, I need help with this. You take the content, you think, oh, I'll just do it. Okay, I'll just do this on my own, but not much changes. I want to invite you to take the next step. Contact me. We can talk about it and see if it's actually something I can help you with. Because I always ask first. I know what I can help people with. I know some things I'm not going to help people with. I do have like my boundaries that um, some areas I don't like to work, but most areas for most people that are out there, go-getters and want to improve their life, yes, those are, those are typically the people I work with. So I encourage you, get to my website, send me a message, let's talk. Let's finish this year really strong and make your next year like take off because this is the perfect time. All right? All right. Lots of love, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. See you on the next video.